Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Epiphany City. This is a cool little puzzle game where apparently you manipulate the environment by using a picture frame to move different objects around. Which seems pretty cool. It was on my update video and I'm really really into this one so we're going to go ahead and hop in here. It looks very very cool. Hello valued player. First of all, thank you so much for playing Epiphany City. It honestly means the world to me. Secondly, there are a lot of cutscenes packed into the start of the game, but I promise the story will take a backseat once the real gameplay begins. This is our very first game, so thank you for being patient with us. David Elliott. That is fine. I am used to a bunch of cutscenes. I think I'll actually play this with keyboard. Alright, bunch of cu cutscenes in the beginning. Let's go. I was about to say, are you going to be high enough? And now, I present you to our most prominent award. For the sixth year in a row, the Nobel Peace Prize winner is... Superb man! Oh yeah, that's Superman, all right. Thank you, thank you. You know, I win more. I win any more of these, I'm going to run out of room for all my medals of honor. Ha 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 ha! laugh track. Uh, 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 only kidding, of course. My Olympic medals already take up all that space. But enough about me. I'm more than honored to receive this incredible award. After all, reducing the crime rate of all seven continents down to. 0.001%. Saving 2.6 million lives in the past year alone. Wow, you really screwed up at that 0.001, right? What a what a slacker. And becoming the world's first trillionaire. Oh god, I already hate you. Would not mean a single thing if not for all of you. Uh, question, Mr. Superb Man. What do you plan to do now that you've accomplished everything in life? You must not have accomplished very much, or else you would understand this already. Once you're on top, it takes more effort to stay there than it does to get there in the first place. Sir, what about the new mischief villain that has recently surfaced? He is hardly a concern, as I will no doubt capture him soon. He cannot evade me forever. Hey, Superb Man. How did you get your superpowers? Radioactive goo. Well, unfortunately we're all out of time. After all, those lives are not going to save themselves. And you fly away. That was a window. Um, sorry about that. Just flying through windows. Just because you're a trillionaire doesn't mean everybody else can afford to fix windows. I do believe that's my main character. Yay, Mom, thank you so much. That was the best, most fun birthday ever. Well, of course it was, dear. You spent it with the most fun mom ever. But it's not over yet. Huh? You mean there's more? If you look in the apartment, you can see for yourself. No way! Is it a car? No, it's a GameCube. Lily, if I let an eight-year-old drive, they'd crash and die. I mean, it's not guaranteed. Could be a prodigy. Oh, I was like, what's going on here? So, I know you've been asking for that art book for a while. No way. But it was sold out. Oh, Mom. <laughs> so I got something even better. It's <laughs> <That's> pretty funny. <laughs> wow. Where did all these art supplies even come from? The Louvre. Well, I worked extra hours while you stayed at Rose's house. Almost worked myself to death, honestly. I love you so much. You're the best mom ever. And we'll always be together. Yes, of course we will, dear. I mean, not always. Everyone dies eventually. Well, at one point today, I thought I was going to laugh to death. Don't joke about death, dear. It's very real, and you might experience it someday. But that day isn't today, because I'm here and I love you. Oh boy, you're super dead. <laughs> God, you're super dead. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's go ahead and get ready. Fasten your seatbelts, everyone. <laughs> Lily's 18th birthday, public, hosted by Lily Parks, Rose's house, show map. I, I don't think I can look at the map. I thought maybe I could bring my mouse cursor up. Friday, July 25th, 2020. Oh, 2020. 6 p.m. to 1 a.m., 15 invited, 13 not going. Two going. Oh, boy. Not getting any RSVPs, are ya? Details. Pizza, ice cream, land party. Ooh, see, this, 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 this seems cool. Movies, pajama sleepover. Vote which games we should play. Oh, of course, Luigi Party. Oh, Luigi Party sounds amazing. 
Mind Build, Roadblocks, Grandma Theft Auto 5, Superb Smash Bros, Among Us, Fork Knight, and Four Nights at Frederick's. I, Luigi's Party is Luigi Party is the best one on this list, let's be honest. Luigi Party sounds amazing. Is that a friend of yours and your mom? <laughs> Hey, don't look at don't look at that. We're going to have the best 18th birthday party ever. Are you Rose, I wonder? It's okay. I don't mind. I'm just glad I'm with my mom and my best friend. Oh, you won't be with your mom much longer. Because I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> what? 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 Mrs. Parks! But it's okay. They can cure me if I get a certain surgery done. Oh, okay. Well, that's good news at least. But we can't afford the surgery. Mom! Also, my boss fired me today. He said there's no point keeping someone who can't improve. Oh, God. It's okay, dear. You'll be alright on your own. <laughs> what is this? No. You're the one who's going to be alright. I love your shirt. I'll get the money, I'll take care of the surgery, and I'll save you no matter what. Coronary heart bypass. Oh, we're doing a GoFundMe. Athena Rose, so that's Rose, our friend. Two people just donated, share donate. Lily and Rose are organizing this fundraiser for Lily's mom. My mom was recently diagnosed with a coronary artery failure and needs the surgery to survive. For anyone who knows her, she has always taken care of me for as long as... Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is something... I remember this being in like, uh... There was an anime or a game where um, one of the plot points was uh, that someone needed to start a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter for a surgery. And basically everybody outside the US was like, what do you mean you need to start a Kickstarter for a surgery? And then everybody in the US collectively cried because they're the only ones that have to pay this damn much for life-saving stuff. <sighs> Sorry, passionate about that subject. <laughs> Lily Parks. Oh cool, you're an artist. Commissions are open. Oh boy, yes, I've seen this a lot. Art, superb man, video games, raising money for my mom's surgery. Please fund me, liliesmom.com. 1,370 followers, though. There you go. Commission's open. You got sketches in full color. Fan art, OC, superheroes, yes. Politics, gore, NSFW, no. Mm. 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 Cool. I do love me some some uh, good art and everything. Commissioned quite a few artists myself. Wrist brace, two pack, carpal tunnel, tendonitis, arthritis, compression strap, fitness adjustable. God, that is what an Amazon item looks like. Just to get maximum SEO, they add everything in there. You go and look at like a wrist pa brace pack, and it's like Fortnite, Call of Duty, Enhancer, Gamer. Bro, if you need this, you're drawing way too much and your hand is going to fall off. I don't think you should be drawing for 12 hours a day. That's just not just bad for your wrist, but it's also bad for your lower back, your life balance, your dog, your electrolytes, your grandma's questionable politics, your ability to perceive reality, your ginormous... Okay. Yeah? What is that? It looks like some, some anime stuff down there. That's Sans on the left. You as a superhero. Superbman. Oh, and there's... That looked like a Paper Mario-esque thing. We saw that in the bottom right, except Mario had red and blue overalls. Opening comms to help pay for my mom's surgery. Anyone and everyone's request will be fulfilled, I promised. Just got mine in the mail, thank you so much. Requested a full color just now, check your messages please. A little $25 for a few pencil lines. Overpriced. Oh god. Yep, people are like that. Cool. Getting some more donations, we're trying. This is such an expensive surgery. It's so sad that people actually go through this. It's really, really disheartening. <laughs> Lily, you're gonna wear yourself out. You're doing everything you can, but these medical costs are just too high. It doesn't matter. I have to try. What more can you possibly do? I'll... Um... I'll... Ow. Superb art contest. Winner receives $100,000 plus a meeting with Superb Man. Losers get absolutely nothing. Content will be used for marketing purposes. All IP is transferred to ownership of Superb Enterprises, Inc. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, it's $100,000 at least. I'll win Superb Man's art competition. There you go. 
You do seem to be a big fan. Yeah, see the see the Paper Mario looking thing in the bottom right there? Love it. This game is apparently very inspired by Paper Mario, which is cool. Always love to see it. Superb man, sir. Yeah, you're you're totally a bootlicker looking here. Here are the top submissions for your art competition. I must say this one girl submission is particularly incredible. <laughs> incredible by what standards? Um well I mean you know. I do not know. Care to explain? Well, I just I thought it looked really nice. Why are you so massive compared to everybody else? Jeez. How do you think my empire was built? With abundantly large sums of money? False. It was built by helping as many people as possible. And the most effective way to help people is by obtaining abundantly large sums of money. Um, so which art piece would you crowd the winner? This one. Oh god. Why? Look, they didn't even finish using the spray can on the corners there. And what's up with your ear? Also, you have a pompadour? Oh, oh, oh my. The artist who drew this piece is the son of a tech sector mogul. He owns over 80% of the digitized data market. This competition was never about finding a suitable promotional piece. It was about gaining control of the future. Why go to such lengths? You're already in control of so much. You know I can tell you have not achieved very much. It is because you are easily satisfied with what you have. This move secures our position for the next decade, allowing us to reach anyone who might need our help. That is all. You have my permission to leave. And let our lucky winner know he has a job waiting for him at Superb Enterprises. Y yes sir. Okay, what a weirdo. I really don't like you, Superb man. Also, I wonder if anything's going to appear on the right or left sides of the screen. Because we have a lot of empty space there. Um, maybe, it, maybe it's filled with like menus or something at some point. Oh, that art of you two is adorable. Rose. Marked out our uh, superb man thing. How's she doing? She's, well, you know. About the same. Thank you for letting her stay here. Of course, no offense, but where you live is exactly the best place for her health. We got roses. Love letters? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't get the money. But it's okay. I'm going to apply to tons of jobs and earn enough for your surgery. I promise I'll do whatever it takes to save you. He said we'd always be together, remember? Well, not really, but... Sounds nice, doesn't it? No. Oh. It's so sad that people have to go through this, man. I know this doesn't make any sense, but the worst part isn't the tragedy itself, or even the fact that a little bit of hope is lost every day. It's that right when you think you have no hope left, you lose just a tiny bit more and realize things can sink so much lower. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, even if it wouldn't have accomplished much, I really just... wish I could have met my hero. Don't meet your heroes. Especially if they're a giant Superman trillionaire asshole. Especially not then. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got a new job. Hey, Lily. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I know you're working really hard these days. That's okay. I'm about to head out anyway. What's up? Well, I hate to say it, but... You haven't paid rent in three months. I'm sorry, but I have to pay bills too, you know. Don't worry, my last round of interviews are today. I'm gonna ace them and pay for my mom's surgery. You're dressed for success. And then I'll live wherever I want. Nope. Not interested. No thanks. Oh god, there's the kid. Please, sir. I promise I'll work three times harder than anyone else. I really need this job. Nah, you don't seem like you can do the job. Unlike the guy waiting outside, he was recommended by Superb Man himself. Oh god. Hey, don't feel bad. Not everyone can be successful. You were born into success, you little shit. This world needs janitors, too. <laughs> oh, God. Man, this game's starting off real sad. <laughs> no room for happiness in this intro. No room at all.
That's an interesting little thing you did. I know I'm just a security guard, but even I got a job at this company. Okay, that's what happens if I press E. I don't know what that is. But, yeah, that's happening. Uh, well, we can go and talk to people now. We're actually getting into some gameplay. Oh, loitering. I'll loiter if I want to loiter, okay? Yeah, I guess that's the interact button. I got the job. Barely even prepped for it. Oh, shut up. Story of Superb Man. The greatest hero ever. Never failed. Never will. If only I had superpowers. I love my awesome job. Boy, I'm glad I'm not poor. <laughs> oh, God. I became rich even with all the odds stacked against me. So if you can't do it, you're just making excuses. Oh, shut up. You just got lucky. My mom and I are going to celebrate my birthday tomorrow. Oh. Just all of the bad things reminding you of what's going on right now. Well, at least we know this is taking place in the U.S. That's That's been basically confirmed by the healthcare situation. Lily's apartment. Wasn't already clear before. Or a fictional place that's like the U.S. Oh. No, let me in! I am protesting! Damn. Okay. We're kind of at rock bottom here. Is this where I need to go? I guess so. Roads up ahead are closed. It'll be a 30 minute delay. Are you kidding me? My life could not get any worse. Okay, don't... No, okay. Why'd you have to... Oh no, it's the cloud from Rain on My Parade. Huh. It got worse. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not a happy time. There was a path left up there. Should I start grabbing... There's some pizza right here. Dinner, maybe? Okay, no. Alright. Well, let's just go over this way, then. <laughs> Shift to run. Alright. Hello, what do you have to say? Ooh, I like your zombie impression. Very nice. Oh, shut up. Celebrate the world's hero. Mischief eludes Superb Man. For how amazing Superb Man is, he's having a lot of trouble with that mischief villain. Superb Man's like a combination of uh, Bruce Wayne and Superman. Because he's rich. Two. Can't play basketball. I love Superb Man. He inspires everyone on the police force. By what? Being a jackass? That's basically what he does. Uh-huh. Gnome. Can't get to the gnome. Well. We're home. Or is this Rose's place? Because I lost my apartment. Probably. <laughs> Oh, at least we have a friend. Oh, hey, how'd it go, Lily? I didn't know that was going to auto-progress. Oh. <laughs> Lily, what's wrong? I'm working on more commissions. But, but your wrist. I'm not giving up until my hand falls off. I have to make up for my wasted life. Oh. Oh, God. Please, no. Oh man, this is super depressing in ways that I didn't expect the beginning of this game to be. Oh boy. Six months later. There we go, we got that pizza at least. Lily, had to go into work. Left some money for your, your lunch when you wake up. I know you've been going through a lot, but please, please clean your side of the house. I literally saw a slug crawl from out of your door yesterday. There are limits. Wow, Rose, you are a fantastic best friend. Jeez. Really got a hand at the Rose here, really stepping up. Whatever. I guess I'm gonna get some ice cream. I'm just gonna get some ice cream. Oh, Rose is being so nice to us. Why haven't we thrown out all this superb man shit? It's probably most of what we have, to be honest. We got some yoga mats, a yoga ball, and an exercise trampoline, though. And a little treadmill. E or Z to grab. Oh, the picture frame? Is this how I'm gonna make my money? I pushed it back. There you go. Ugh, I'm tired. That's enough work for one day. Oh no. Did we not save our mom? Oh jeez. I'm just gonna go back to sleep. 
I don't think we actually got the money. It did say six months. I doubt she would have lasted six months, and that seemed like a little area to give gifts. Memory of her. Superb man saves over 50 plus people from a burning building. Yet again, Superb Man saved everybody from the latest disaster. He's done it again. He even saved this adorable kid with a perfect photo pose somehow. Oh, God. These disasters seem to be happening a lot lately. Any idea why? Victims reported seeing some sort of gas-like ghost before the disasters occurred. That doesn't seem like solid evidence. <laughs> Loved by everyone. Always succeeds. Has superpowers. Must be nice. What the? You are still awake? Do you have jury duty in the morning? Jury duty is like 8 a.m. class. You don't have to go. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, you do. God, jury duty sucks. Look, I know life isn't great right now. But you can't sleep in my closet for the rest of your life. Nothing I can do about it. Oh, really? I can name like eight things you could do tomorrow that would make your life better. Number one, eat health- Eat healthier. Er, yeah, actually, but number two, clean my room. Clean my room, you mean? That's what I said. Alright, smarty pants, number- Number three, go back to school. Four, start drawing again. But I can't, because I missed the application deadline, and my wrist is still injured. Uh, okay, but... Five, job applications are useless because they'll see that I dropped out of school and immediately reject me. Wait, that's actually not true. Your art is amazing and could definitely get you a job. And what would I apply for? I can't draw anymore anyway. Oh, this really sucks. God, like... Eh. It's, it wasn't joking. Like, everything bad that could possibly happen happened to you. This is a really, really shitty situation. Then do something else. Yeah, start learning some craft years behind everyone else. Somehow get money to pay for more classes. Just to work as a cog, answering to a boss who only cares how good I'm making him look. I thought this out already. My life is hopeless. You're the only person that doesn't know it. Oh. Fine, then I guess I also wasted my money on these tickets to see Superb Man. W wait what Those are like impossible to find. How'd you even get a hold of those? I got these for you, because you used to draw him all the time and you know so much about him. And I know his team is looking for artists and nobody is a better fit than you are. But if you won't use any of your amazing talents, then I won't let you use these tickets. No. Promise me you'll talk to him. Okay, I will. Promise. I promise, I promise. Just put the tickets down, please. Fine. Uh, you are one crazy b Don't say it. Best friend! I was gonna say best friend, I swear. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you for the tickets. It really means a lot. But even if they hire me, you know I can't take the job, right? Huh. <sighs> Maybe you really are hopeless. Oh. Don't say that. She's trying her best. She's in a pretty shit situation. Obviously she needs to find some way to get out of the funk, but... Easier said than done sometimes. Like your hat. I'll meet up with you later, okay? Ugh, so tired. You're welcome for giving you a ride, by the way. Yeah, okay, whatever. Rose, you really are a gem. After all that, not even a thank you. <laughs> it's very nice that you're helping her out with this stuff, because she's been through a lot. You're definitely a good best friend. Alright, hello. Excuse me? What is that? Is that Mischief Man? So I just stole a wallet. Can't I steal Superb Man's wallet? Honey, I can't find my wallet all of a sudden. I'm hurry up already, I wanna see Superb Man. Oh, you didn't buy the tickets ahead of time? Rough. Hang on, I have to roll this carpet out. You can't move to the other rooms without these. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. 
Welcome, enjoy your visit, and don't fret if any of the paintings are fake. <laughs> okay. I just saw some weird shadow flow past. Way too much coffee today. Or not enough coffee? Yep, there's weird shadow. Continue walking. Red carpet flower, 2020 oil on canvas. The flower's pillowy petals instill the belief that one can discover new paths. This is the museum's most prized art piece. Do you think I'll get to see it again soon? Mm-hmm. I just felt a chill go by. Was I imagining it? I don't know. Uh, why are you throwing stuff? I'm supposed to paint these tiles look like floorboards, but these tiles aren't used anywhere in the museum. Okay. Move. I'm supposed to paint these tiles to look like... There we go. Oh, thanks for the help. Okay, so yeah, that's our uh, other introduction to the mechanic of, like, fixing things by moving them around like that. This is pretty cool so far. The story is very sad and pretty relatable. But, uh, the art is really, really cute, and I'm liking the writing so far. Um, okay, well, we have two frames here. What just happened to my golf ball painting? My artwork, I can't show this in public. Okay, so we make pull the moon over here and make it a golf ball? There we go, I fixed your painting. Moving Obstacles by Ellie Johnson. You know, that might just do the trick, thank you. My artwork, I can't show this in public. It's okay, this stop sign is a perfect lollipop for this child. <laughs> oh my word, I see you have the eye of an artist as well. Go right ahead. Someone, or something, messed up all these sculptures. Uh, Puppy's Reward. Smiling Doll. Uh, R or X to rotate. Oh, I see. Oh man, it looks really creepy that way. <laughs> okay, so we can rotate them too. Uh, Puppy's Reward. There we go. Yeah, it looked like an old man. Then you flip it over and no, it's a dog. Is a puppy. What does this one say? Rabbit season. Okay, right now it looks like a duck. There we go. It's a bunny. I should be out racing, not on display like some zoo animal. Like a bird with clipped wings. Strain power. Profound and risque piece in which world-renowned racer Eval Knievel is stripped of his tires and forced to stay within restrictive bounds. Poor evil Eval Knievel. So glad I get to sit down, unlike the guy in the next room. Go right ahead. Okay. Yeah, this person does look like they're having a good time. Is it just me, or does it feel like someone sabotaged all these exhibits? We turned this room into a storage unit in order to meet, uh, make room for the meet and greet. Okay. So you got a chair. Maybe I should... Move, uh... Well, no, I should turn the chair so that you can actually sit in it. Right? There you go. Sit down. Uh, I'm sweating like a pig. I just wish it wasn't so hot. There we go. I just had to turn it so it turned on. Yo, I didn't know you could... What'd you say? Yo, I didn't know you had my back like that. Go ahead. I got your back, too. Well, thank you. Uh, alright. We're about at 30 minutes and I do need to get this up today. So, I think we'll probably go ahead and end this episode off here. This has been pretty fun so far. I'm quite into this. It's basically exactly what I expected, and like I said, story is definitely so sad and so relatable so far, but yeah, those are sometimes the best stories. So, hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Epiphany City, and I'll see you next time.